Hello, it's me, Nia, with Exquisite Floral Design and Events, and today I'm going to show you how to hydrate your flowers. So first I have one gallon of water in this five gallon bucket, and I'm going to put some Aqua Plus food in the water. So I usually put about three um, tablespoons, I just guesstimate, I just put three of these plastic spoons in there and um, I kind of stir it up with the spoon so it's all in the water then I now once I done I just place the bucket on the floor and then I get my flowers first I'm going to work with roses so I'm going to cut about an inch off of the bottom of the stem and I usually have this on a trash can, but because I'm trying to show you guys, it was difficult. But I have like a, a cutter. Normally you would just have shears and you're just gonna kind of cut it at an angle, each one of them. And you're just gonna place them in the bucket of water. So I finally got that one cut. <laughs> so I did the same thing and now I'm going to cut my Lysianthus. With these, I'm going to take the plastic off because I want them to bloom a little bit more. So I'll take the plastic off and cut those again and cut them about an inch above the stem so that they can get nice and hydrated. And now I'm going to grab my tulips and with my tulips I'm also going to take them out of the bag because they are still kind of tight so I'm going to just chop them and stick them in the water now my ranunculus I'm going to keep them in the bag it's only one sided because they're so delicate I do want to make sure that they don't bump or, or break or anything so I just cut those and put them in the bag now I'm coming over to my delphiniums and they're nice and I keep them in the bag because of the fact that I don't want to lose any of the plants or flowers that are on the stem. So the bag kind of protect it. Now we're going to go one more time. And this is for my greens. I do, I cut them also about the same and I put them in the um, bucket. Now for my, these are mums and they come kind of like two in a bunch i also cut those i keep these also in the bag because i don't want them to um you know since there's so many i don't want them to get lost now again i'll cut my greens put it in the green bucket and then my one more thing of my tulips i cut them and take them out of the bag and put them in with my flowers. Now I usually keep my delicate flowers in one, I keep my roses in another, my greens in another, and um, like kind of sturdy flowers. I kind of separate a lot of stuff. Um, those are thistle, and I think I put those in with the, with the other bag of pom-poms. Um, now last, I remembered I had one more um rows and normally i only can fit about three in a bucket because after we are done and they have sat in the um in the warehouse for about an hour 
I'll go ahead and then put them inside of the freezer, I mean refrigerator, with the protective um, covering on the top of it off. And I'll show you that now. So like I said, I let them sit in the like at room temperature for about an hour then I come back and I release the or take the wrapping out of wrapping off and in the morning and then put them in my floor refrigerator but you can be fine if you leave them out and then they'll bloom and look beautiful the next day so thank you for watching and I will see you next time oh don't forget to like and subscribe bye